standing atop a massive coal pile. And what a coal pile was, was in a sense, the landfill for the mine. And by that I mean this was all the shale, undesirable coal that the operation would have pulled out when they were making physical uh, tunnels, workings, etc. So this is the undesirable bony coal, slate, uh, fine coal that they didn't have a market for back in the day. And it is absolutely high. This is all man-made. Where I'm standing, it would have been basically the same height originally as where those homes are. So I'm just on this massive, massive man-made mountain. And in time, birch trees grow, like this one, and they shed their leaves. And given enough time, ecosystems like these trees spring up. And trees are gonna grow. That's all calm down there. And that just traps more leaves and dead branches, which makes soil, and it's easier to grow. But in time, this will be completely wooded if they don't reclaim it. I always thought that these coal piles were old coal piles, say from like the Civil War era, Gilded Age, Victorian Age. I was told by a guy who operates uh, washeries in the Hazleton era that sometimes they ran these massive coal piles three or four or even five times through their breakers. So the original Civil War era breakers weren't as efficient in separating the junk coal and slate and other various rock from the good coal and desirable coal. So turn of the century, last century, they would have had better technology and decided to go after easy coal and run their coal and get a pretty good yield. And again, like the 20s and 30s, they would repeat and ultimately in the 50s and 60s. And even today, they come in here and truck this off and have processes for separating the waste rock from the fine coal and burn it for power generation. There's still a lot of energy in these black mountains, these man-made black mountains. But people ride ATVs up and down them. So, that is the old Pittston Hospital, and that's where a lot of the Knox coal mine survivors uh, went, and there's actually a video of them being interviewed by the news media. And it's unfortunately abandoned, to my knowledge. Beyond that is downtown Pittston. That way is Scranton. the mighty Susquehanna, other side of the river. That way would be West Wyoming on the other side of the river. We've all been in mines on that side of the mountain all over. We ran all up and down these mountains, in and out. And it's such a big view up here that you could actually see the Berwick nuclear power plant. And there's We'll expand in the distance. Should be zoomed in the wrong spot. That's Wilkes Bear. It's a very awesome view. Can never build on this because it would just keep settling because it's just loose rock essentially. It's for my viewers that aren't from the uh coal regions. But again, this would have been originally as flat as those homes where I'm standing. Wild. And without the mines, there'd be none of these homes. None. Thanks for viewing this and hope you have a nice day. See ya.